When teaching kids place value, I usually introduce the values. And the numbers that we're going to look at today, they can be worth ones, tens, hundreds, or thousands. And they can have as small as one digit or a lot more digits to make up the number. We're going to look at some cards to see what we're going to make. This is our first one. It says zero ones. It has one digit, zero, and it is in the ones column. That represents nothing, zero. We're going to look at another card. Two tens plus zero ones. It has two digits. It has a two and a zero. So again, the zero is going to go in the ones place. That's its value. And the two is going to go into the tens. We have two digits, the two and the zero, and together they make the number 20. Then we're going to go to one with three digits. This is 400 plus two tens plus zero ones. So we're going to go to the ones, the value of the ones column. Then we're going to go to the two in the tens. And then we're going to add a four, and it is in the hundreds. So now we have 420 represented by a digit four in the hundreds, a digit two in the tens, and a digit zero in the ones. Now we're going to push this up a little so we can get our last one in. And that one is 1,000 plus four hundredths plus two tens plus zero ones. It has four digits and it has four place values. So let's build that number. Okay, so we have to find a zero. So let me see. Here is a zero that represents the ones. Then we have two tens. Then we have four hundredths. And then we have one thousand. And I found a better zero. To help kids build a strong understanding of place value, in our first activity, we are going to use numbers, pictorials that are pictures of tens and ones, and the place value chart to emphasize that the placement of each digit represents its value. These are the number cards that kids will use in the first activity and they will need to match them with the correct pictorials. This will build a strong understanding of what each number actually represents. In this activity, we're working with ones and tens, uh, two digit numbers. So in this activity, we, we want the children to match the pictorial with the actual number. There are one, two, three cubes there, and this is the number three. So now we want to represent it on our chart. There is only one digit, the three, and that is also the number. So we put three, and that would be under the ones, so the number would be three. Let's try another one. This is 10. And then we have a couple pictures down here, so the child has to match it up with the correct one. And we know this is a set of 110. And then we have zero ones. So we have to make that number over here. The zero will go in the ones. That is the value of this digit. And then we have one group of 10. That is the value of this digit. So it actually equals the number 10. Okay, on to our next number is 25. And then we have this 
pictorial, but that looks like it is just too large, much bigger than 25. So we'll try the other one we have left. And this one looks like it could work. We have one, two, three, four, five, five ones. And we have two groups of 10, two tens. So let's do that one now. The ones will go here, and that is represented by the five, as well as the five cubes here. And then our tens, we have two tens. And again, that's represented by this digit, and it's represented by these two sets of 10. So our number is 25. We have one more left, so that will be easy to match because it's 38 and we have one pictorial left. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones and one, two, three, groups of 10. So let's put the ones in the ones place and let's put the three representing the three groups of 10. Now that kids have been introduced to and have practiced the place value of digits in the numbers, have them color the digit in each number that represents the ones, red, and the digits that represent tens, green. This is a completed example and bring attention to kids that some numbers only have one digit that represents the value of the ones. To further kids' understanding of the amount each number represents, have kids draw a line from each number to its correct pictorial. This is a completed example. Have kids show how they figured out their answers by having kids count the number of cubes in each pictorial. When they show you how they count them, Hopefully they're not still counting them one, two, three. We want them to know that this represents a 10. So they should just say that's 10. And then they should go over here and know that's 10. And they may have to count the ones because they are always different. So they would go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And for this one, they should go 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. To ensure that kids have a good understanding of place value before we introduce the hundreds place, have kids complete this activity. So kids understand what is expected of them, complete the first two problems with them. This is a completed example. Now it's time to introduce the pictorial that represents 100. This is a visual to show children that 10 tens make 100 and that the blue cubes equaling 100 will be in the pictorial representing 100. Okay, this activity is the same activity that we did earlier introducing the ones and the tens. Now we are going to work with ones, tens, and hundreds. We have already matched the pictorials to the numbers that represent them. So if we go here, we know now that each one represents 10. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40. That number says 40. 
in the ones place we have none so we need to put zero there to represent that and we have four groups of 10 and that makes 40 so we'll put the four we'll place the four under the tenths because they are values of 10. We come here and we now know this represents 100. We go here, there are no tens, and we go here and there are ones, four of them. So we need to build up with the ones first. One, two, three, four. So we need to represent the four. Now, we don't have any tens. So what we're going to have to do is what we did for the ones here. If there is nothing, we need to put a zero to show there are no tens. And then we have one group of 100. So this says 104. 100, no tens, and four ones. Then this one is 120. Three, and this is our number, 123. So we have three ones. We have two tens, and the tens, that's what it says. And we have 100. So that number is 100, whoops, 123. Now have kids color the digits in the ones place red, the digits in the tens place green, and the digits in the hundreds place blue. And this is a completed example. In this activity, kids will have to determine what place value the digit represents. So in the number 154, kids have to determine whether the 5 represents 1s, 10s, or 100s. Complete the first two problems with kids and then have them complete the remaining part of the page independently. And this is an example of the completed page introduce kids to the thousand place. It takes ten hundreds to equal one thousand. These are the pictorials and the number cards that are used to complete the next activity. This activity was introduced for the ones and tens and then the hundreds and now the thousands. We have the pictorial cards and the number cards, and then the kids are to place the digits under the right values. The first number is 1,110. The second number is 1,001. The third number is 1,200. And the last number is 2,000. Have kids color the ones red, the tens green, hundreds blue, and thousands purple. And this is a completed paper. Kids need to fill in the correct bubble. And these are the answers. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, the link for all of the templates used in these activities will be listed in the description section.